welcome in Germany. To be more precise, how do you welcome someone in Germany? People greet each other differently all over the world. A hug here, a bow there, two or three kisses there. What is it actually like in Germany? Historically, bowing is also known in Germany. Even in ancient times, people took off their headgear and bowed their head. Bows were a gesture of submission. If you took off your helmet and bowed your head, the other person could have hit you unarmed head. The man's bow was contrasted with a woman's curtsy, which resulted from a kneeling. Bows can still be found in aristocrat circles today. In Germany, the curtsy was sometimes used until the 1960s. Another greeting, whose oldest depiction dates back to 850 BC, is a handshake, which originated in the Orient and came to Germania via Rome. As with waving, you see the unarmed hand and shake it, typically the right hand which usually holds the weapon. In East Germany, the hand is still shaken more often than in West Germany. After Corona, this is sometimes replaced with a fist salute. But what is the correct way to greet someone? A distinction must be made here between verbal greetings and physical greetings. The person who joins a group or enters a room greets them first with a hello or a good morning or something similar. Several people have already noted on YouTube that as soon as someone enters a room in Germany and says hello, whether it's a waiting room or an office, everyone in the room says hello back, but then carries on with what they were doing before. The greeting is always returned in the same way, like a good morning with a good morning, a hello with a hello. If you meet someone, the man greets the woman first, or in case of the same sex encounters, The younger person greets the older first, or the person who is lower in the professional hierarchy greets the persons higher in the hierarchy first. In private circles, guests are greeted first, followed by relatives and friends. Let's move on to the physical greeting. There's nothing wrong with shaking hands. It's still a good standard, especially in business dealings. Here, however, the rule is actually the other way round. The person who is higher up in the company offers his hand to the employee, or the older person to the younger person, or the woman to the man. So simply extend your right hand to the other one. The handshake only lasts two or three seconds, and the hand is shaken three or four times. The right hand is only shaken with the right hand, not with the second hand. If you are invited as a couple by another couple, neighbors or colleagues, the hostess first greets the woman and then the man. The host then greets the lady and then the gentleman. In the case of same-sex couples, accordingly. If the hosts are not expecting the guests at the door, but the guests appear elsewhere, for example because the boss has invited them to a party, then the guest should go to the hosts first and then begin the greeting. It is absolutely customary to shake hands with women and men and possibly children afterwards. Germans are irritated and considered it very rude if you refuse to shake hands. If someone in the room is greeting people and shaking hands, but you are still sitting at a table, then it is appropriate to stand up briefly to shake hands. If you don't want to greet everyone with a handshake or if people are already talking and you don't want to disturb them, you can also nod to the individual groups in a friendly manner. Bowing is unusual in Germany. When friends or good acquaintances visit each other, it is more common to hug as a greeting. This can usually be recognized by the fact that the arms are spread out rather than the hands being extended in greeting. If several people are greeted with a hug, it is quite possible that strangers will also be greeted in the same way. If you don't want to do this, you can quickly extend your hand and then just shake hands. Here too, no distinction is made between the sexes. 
it can also be that it starts with shaking hands and then hugging with the other one. And I only know kissing from the family environment. It is rather unusual among friends and acquaintances. In some circles, kissing on the right and kissing on the left may be common. In Germany, twice is enough, once each side. If a couple meets, they can also greet each other with a kiss on the lips. Again, this should not last more than two or three seconds. French kisses should not be exchanged in public. However, it can happen that you see more intimate kisses. In that case, just overlook it and move on. Even if the couple is of the same sex and kisses each other, this is nothing special. When saying goodbye, the same form is used as when greeting. If you have greeted your host with a handshake, you say goodbye in the same way. However, it may be that you have understood each other particularly well during the meeting. For example, after a verbal greeting, a handshake may be offered to say goodbye or the greeting handshake may be followed by a hug. If two people have got on particularly well, they can also say goodbye with a kiss. In certain areas, there are also special greetings such as Mast und Schotbruch for sailors, Petri Heil for anglers or Weidmanns Heil for hunters. Incidentally, Petri Dank or Weidmanns Dank is not used to return a greeting but only in event of a successful catch or hunt. How do people actually greet each other in your area? I'll say tschüss. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.